Hey everyone, David here. So, um, I think this is a record for me. Uh, three videos in roughly three days. Uh, so, to explain why I am, I built the greenhouse is I'm starting a cut flower field out here at the farm. And yeah, so this is what I have done. Um, <laughs> it's a lot. So, I rented a plastic mulch layer, laid, excuse me, uh, laid the mulch and, um, or the, the plastic sheeting, also known as plastic mulch. Uh, normally it would use them for like strawberry production and whatnot. I didn't add a drip tape because what I'm planting here and on that side, there's five rows over there, is uh, I've ordered over 1200 dahlia plants that will be planted through here. Uh, space, this is plenty of space for them, um, but uh, they like, they like to, to prevent fungal diseases, you need spacing between them, and then I'm gonna run a hard line and spider off of the hard line into where the plants are gonna be uh, and water there. Uh, this is gonna, gonna help me tremendously for uh, weed prevention uh, and maintenance of the plants. So I'm trying to set things up as I, uh, so, so in the long run, it's not going to be that big of an issue. Um, it's cloudy, it's dark, it's raining. Uh, it's very cold. I saw some snowflakes earlier, which is, <sighs> I hate the cold. Uh, give me, give me summer all day long. And then these guys here, are four by 14 beds uh, that I have done. There's 27 beds on each side. I had to finish the plastic or the, the walkways uh, right, right down in there. Um, but uh, yeah, so in here you can tell I've already planted some stuff. These are the first plants I've planted in the in this garden. Uh, these are Duchess de no ne Nemours uh peonies and they can take two to three years to get established and bloom um fingers crossed i had i got a crate of them uh 25 plants and they look very very good lots of eyes on them uh so i'm hoping that they do well for me sometimes in north carolina they can be a little finicky because of our hot weather but um they just like they like the not finicky because of the hot weather, finicky because we're not cold enough during the winter hours. They, they require a certain amount of cold hours. Um, but what I did was I, I made mounds and planted the peonies in the mounds. Uh, I'm not gonna add any mulch to it till the springtime. I might add some to prevent uh, any like washing, a little bit of erosion, whatnot, but uh, but yeah, they, uh, they'll get mulched in the spring. Uh, just want to make sure they get enough cold uh, temps to the roots uh, so they can bloom very well for me. Uh, I talked with one of my friends. Uh, I'm not actually going to wait for a lot of the plants that I have planted that are going to be the spring blooming plants, foxgloves, snapdragons, things like that, because they also require a cold period. So I'm actually, I just ordered some heat mats, uh, germinating uh, mats and some lights. And I'm going to get a lot of those planted uh, here shortly and I'll do videos on what I'm doing there. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm excited. A um, little bit of agritourism, uh, do different, different things. I have lots of plans. Uh, I'll keep y'all posted on that, see what happens, but yeah. Um, Oh yeah, uh, let's see, what else? Uh, perennials, I got uh, lots lots of roses coming. Uh, some David Austin roses, some Weeks roses. Um, let's see, 11 different varieties. Three, 36. Uh, it's like 45 plants, um, uh, rose bushes, I think. No, uh, 47 plants, um, yeah, of roses. So, uh, it's gonna be amazing. Let's see, take you 
over on this side. So you can see these rows. Um, it really wasn't that hard. I had to kind of rush. Uh, I wish the ground was just a little bit um, more dry. That way it would create uh, rows a little bit better and toss the dirt up on the on the sides. But it works well. It worked for me. Um, it took some time to kind of figure out how to do it. I rented the plastic mulch layer from the local ag extension program or department uh, for my county. It was like 75 bucks to rent it and then uh, another $75 deposit um, as long as it comes back clean and in working order, uh, which is all it is is a piece of equipment. We'll walk over there to it. Um, yeah, uh, everything everything's coming along. Like I said, I'm trying to do a lot of things uh, so, so to prevent uh, more work later on. But yeah, uh, so that's the plastic mulch layer. It's got a roll of plastic on there. That one roll will probably last me two years because there's 4,000 feet on it. And I, I don't even remember. Um, it's like 2,000 feet of lines. Uh, for the for the plastic mulch beds over there um, basically what I did was I built the rows first then I came back and laid the plastic on top of it these wheels here uh, lay, uh, lay on the plastic as it's rolling and unravel it off of the roll and then these discs here toss the dirt back onto the edges uh this little thing here uh is where you can put your spool of drip tape uh but i didn't do do drip tape um it runs down and then underneath like that uh it was hooked up to the ford 2810 and i gotta get it washed you see it's kind of muddy but uh yeah um it it worked out pretty good and i don't know if you can kind of see it they're sort of straight um i talked with uh some of my friends that are agronomists and they said they've never seen straight beds before a day in their life so they should i shouldn't worry about it too much anyway uh it's going to be one gigantic garden. It's, uh, it doesn't really look like it, but it's about 190 feet, almost 200 feet long. Um, and the beds, like I said, four by, uh, 14, uh, just because that's the wood that I had. Anyway, uh, if y'all have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll talk to y'all later. Take care. Bye.